Avatar 360 has clearly advanced far beyond the speculative rumor phase and now appears to be a fully developed, near-production aerial imaging platform that represents a major evolution in how creators capture immersive content. With multiple retail box leaks, regulatory filings, certification documents, and highly polished promotional visuals all pointing toward an imminent launch of a premium 360-degree FPV drone that borrows heavily from DJI's Osmo Imaging DNA while pushing into entirely new creative territory. Unlike traditional consumer drones or standard FPV platforms, the Avata 360 is widely believed to integrate a dual-lens spherical camera system built around unusually large 1 over 1.1-inch sensors, enabling high-resolution 360 video recording, ultra-detailed panoramic stills, and post-production reframing without the severe quality loss typically associated with small action camera sensors, positioning this drone closer to professional-grade cinematic tools rather than hobbyist gear, and with a projected price range hovering between $999 and $1,200 for the Fly More bundle. This product is not intended as a successor to the Avata 2, but instead as a distinct flagship category that fuses immersive FPV flight dynamics with true omnidirectional capture, advanced obstacle avoidance, and intelligent safety systems. At the core of its design is a mechanically rotating gimbal that allows pilots to physically switch between full 360-degree capture and a forward-facing FPV shooting mode in real time preserving low latency responsiveness and eliminating the need for aggressive digital cropping, which means creators can fly once, focus entirely on movement and speed, and later extract multiple camera angles, cinematic tracking shots, or social media-ready vertical content from a single flight. While safety has reportedly received a substantial upgrade through LiDAR-based omnidirectional obstacle sensing that forms a continuous 360-degree protective bubble around the aircraft, a critical feature for spherical filming where framing is not locked to a forward viewpoint, and unlike heavily automated systems, this approach enhances situational awareness without stripping pilots of manual control. Connectivity is expected to rely on OCUSYNC 4.0 with a rumored transmission range reaching up to 20 km under optimal conditions, paired with a larger 38.67 Wh battery, approximately 22% bigger than previous Avata platforms, potentially delivering around 25 minutes of flight time depending on speed and camera mode all housed within a redesigned darker airframe with a rear-shifted battery layout for improved balance and aerodynamics, a combination that could fundamentally reshape FPV storytelling, action sports filmmaking, travel cinematography, and immersive aerial content creation. At the same time, DJI's handheld ecosystem is also undergoing a quiet but significant transformation, as new leaks surrounding the Osmo Pocket 4 suggest that the company is experimenting with multiple prototype designs, reportedly photographed alongside the Osmo Pocket 3 in real-world testing scenarios, revealing two distinct variants that strongly imply a standard model and a higher-end Pocket 4 Pro, both lacking final branding and logos, which typically indicates early-stage hardware evaluation rather than finalized retail units, with one prototype featuring a long-rumored dual-lens configuration and a noticeably larger, heavier gimbal head that aligns closely with earlier trusted leaks and suggests enhanced stabilization, advanced computational imaging, and potentially improved low-light performance aimed at professional vloggers, filmmakers, and content creators, while the second prototype retains a more traditional single-lens pocket form factor but appears to house a larger camera module than its predecessor possibly accommodating an upgraded sensor, faster image processor, or improved autofocus system, and this version introduces additional physical control buttons beneath the display, signaling a design shift toward quicker manual operation and reduced dependency on touchscreen navigation. Both prototypes showcase redesigned gimbal assemblies, reinforcing the idea that DJI is not merely upgrading sensors but rethinking balance, ergonomics, and usability across its compact camera lineup, and although no official announcement has been made as of late December 2025, the frequency and consistency of leaks strongly point toward an early 2026 launch window.
potentially accompanied by a new compact wireless control accessory designed to function as a remote interface for Osmo Pocket devices, DJI action cameras, and 360-degree systems, enhancing solo shooting workflows, wearable setups, and multi-camera synchronization. Meanwhile, separate from product development, Widespread confusion continues to surround the so-called DJI ban narrative in the United States, fueled by viral social media posts, misleading headlines, and online speculation claiming that DJI drones are already prohibited or that existing devices will soon be disabled, despite the reality being far more nuanced and procedural rather than immediate or punitive, as DJI products remain fully legal to purchase, own, and operate across the US with no forced shutdowns, deactivations, or usage restrictions currently in place, and the source of concern stems from a clause within the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act requiring a comprehensive security review of DJI by the National Security Agency by December 23, 2025, with the unusual caveat that failure to complete the review, not a negative outcome, could automatically trigger a ban by default a scenario driven more by administrative deadlines than verified security findings, especially given that no public evidence has ever demonstrated DJI drones transmitting unauthorized data, and a previously leaked Pentagon assessment found no malicious code in government edition units. While DJI has steadily expanded privacy protections through features such as local data mode, offline operation, encrypted communication links, optional cloud syncing, enterprise-grade data controls, and the discontinuation of automatic log uploads in the US, all while publicly welcoming a transparent audit to resolve long-standing concerns. If a ban were ever enacted, it would likely involve placement on the FCC covered list, restricting future imports and sales rather than disabling existing hardware, meaning current owners would still fly legally under FAA rules, though long-term impacts could include slower firmware updates, app availability challenges, and parts accessibility issues, with especially severe consequences for emergency services, as an overwhelming majority of US police, fire, and rescue agencies rely on DJI platforms due to their affordability and performance advantages over domestic alternatives, and broader industries such as agriculture, infrastructure inspection, filmmaking, real estate, and content creation would face increased costs and reduced options making it clear that the situation is driven more by geopolitical strategy than proven wrongdoing, and for now, users are advised to continue operating normally, keep essential apps installed, maintain backups where possible, and avoid panic, as DJI's ecosystem, from the Avata 360 to future Osmo Pocket cameras, remains fully functional and deeply influential in shaping the future of aerial imaging, handheld video production, immersive storytelling, and creator-focused technology worldwide.